Pardon. This morning I had seven gunshots. I say, I wake up, I come in the back, and I see that person right on, but I didn't know it was my son. I didn't know it was my son. Freeze, freeze! A mother's heart-wrenching scream for her son as he was cut down in a hail of bullets on Thursday morning in Basse Joseph. Dead is father of three, Patrick Joseph Jr., also known as Prince. Amid the raw pain and anguish felt by the mother of the deceased, Paula Valsier, pushed through tears to share with News Force the final moments spent with her son. This morning he was going to work, he liked his little job because he had three children to take care of. Right now they have to take care of those children. Uh, this morning I tell him, school open, what we doing, what thing we putting in place. Because you know we don't have much time for school. He said, Mommy, I'm supposed to get paid tomorrow. So when I get paid, I'll give you money to, to set out that thing, you know. And that's it. And I have seven gunshots. When I come out, I see that person lie down there for true. But I didn't know it was Prince. Family members, residents and curious onlookers gathered at the scene of the crime as law enforcement processed the crime scene. It was tears all around, with family members struggling to cope with the devastating news of their loved one's violent death. Early this morning, before I go to the hospital to see my brother, I mention his name, his name in my prayer. I always pray for him. I always mention my sisters. I call all of them, their name on a morning and a night when I'm praying, you know? And it's so sad to see that's how our youth going. So sad. I mean, they have to think when they're doing things because remember they have family. We have the, when they're doing crime, kidding people like that. We have families. They have families that are out there. And plus he has three children. You understand? It's very hard. It's hard right now for the family. It's very hard for all of us because we are one family. The victim's aunt, Fidora Valsier, describes her nephew as a loving, hard-working young man, not deserving of a violent death. Because he works up Cap Estate. With a lawyer, he works up Cap Estate. And then apparently maybe when he was going down the hill, the, the person maybe was watching at him or timing him, you know, and then they shot him in his forehead. I heard he, had, he got seven shots at the back, one at the back and all the rest to the front. What was supposed to be a joyous day for Joseph, who had plans to celebrate his sibling's birthday later in the evening, took a tragic turn, with family members lamenting the rise in deadly gun violence on the island. We were making plans for when he come from work so that they can go and buy drinks, he buy drinks so that they can drink and eat. And hearing that sad story this morning, there is not good at all. The youth have to forget, put God first in everything they're doing. Stop the violence. We need, the, the youth need to more, we need prayers. They need to pray, they have to think. It's hurting, it's painful, it's very painful. I can imagine all the other parents that are going through that same situation we're going to. It's not easy, it's not an easy task. It's very, very hard for us, my sister. The heartbroken mother struggles to find a motive behind her son's violent end. I'd love that boy, but I don't know what. I don't know what happened, what led to that killing. But they say, mother always said they love their children, but deep in my heart, I love my son. The death of Patrick Joseph is the 60th known recorded homicide on St. Lucia in 2023. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.